Hello everyone! Today I will be showing you how to use the National Resource Canada Tree ID website. It is based off the Trees in Canada book, so if you've used that before to ID trees, this will be familiar to you. So this is what the website looks like. From here, we're going to start with the index. Click the Index tab on the left side of your screen. If you know the name of the tree that you're looking for, you can find it here. Say I'm looking for an Eastern White Pine. If I click E, it will show me all the common and Latin names in the database that start with this letter. Once I find it, I can click it. Now it will give me everything I need to know about how to identify this species. It lists some important ID features such as leaf shape and length, coloring throughout the year, buds, twigs, flowers, fruit, bark, and more. Scroll through this information and compare it to the tree that you're trying to ID to see if it's correct. If you want, you can also see a list of insects and diseases that are associated with this species. You can click this tab to see more photos, and this tab to see a distribution map. Now, if you don't know your species by name, you can use the tab on the left to select whether it's a conifer or a broadleaf tree. In general, conifers are trees like pines that have needles and, with the exception of a tamarack, keep them throughout the winter. Broadleaf is also known as deciduous. They have leaves that they lose in the winter, like a maple. Let's start with broadleaf. Here, you will see photos of different leaf shapes and arrangements. Select which option is most similar to your tree. These are photos of the tree that I want to ID. You can see in my photo that the leaf arrangement is opposite, just like this group, so I'm going to select this group. This will bring you to a group of species with similar features. Scroll down to see another list of options showing key ID features, and select which one is most similar to the tree that you want to ID. I know that my tree has winged seeds like this one, so I'll choose this option. Now scroll through these options and pictures again and select the tree most similar to yours. I can see that this species has similar leaves and the same striped bark, so it's probably this one. Here it will give you more detailed information about this species. Scroll through the description and make sure that it matches up with the features of your tree. The leaves are broadly triangular with three lobes, ending in long tips. The twigs are reddish brown, shiny, and hairless, with buds that are longer than they are wide. The flowers are bell-shaped, has five petals, and they're hanging on a central stem in clusters. The fruit is also indented and winged, and the bark is striped. These are all features that are the same as the features in the photos of the tree that I want to ID. Although I don't have all the information provided on this list, like the root system or the colouring in autumn, based on the similarity of the other features I've identified and compared, it would be safe to assume that this tree is a striped maple. If you want, you can see a list of insects and diseases associated with the species. You can also click here to see more photos of the species. And here to see a distribution map which is useful because if it says the species is only growing in a different province, you know it's probably the wrong tree. If it is not correct and the features don't match up, you can always go back and try again. Now we will do conifers. This asks you to select an option based off of leaf needles and seeds. Read the description and select what is most similar to yours. To the left are photos of the conifer tree I want ID. The needles are in clusters of two and the seed is in a cone, so I'll select this group. This will bring you to a group of trees with these features and select which one you think is right. For this option, there's only one group, so I'm going to select that one. These needles look very similar to mine, so I'm going to click on this to see more information. Here is more information on this tree, and I'll compare it with my tree to see if the ID features match up. The leaves are needles in bunches of two. The twigs are orange to reddish brown, and the seed cones are oval and appear stalkless. The bark is also scaly brown and reddish. These are all features that are similar to mine. If you're not sure, it's always good to look at the photos that are provided. Here, the photos look very similar to mine, which helps to back up my ID. 
Now I'll take a look at the distribution map. And I can see that it grows in my area, so it's safe to say that this is a red pine. Remember that if the ID is not correct, you can always go back and try again. If you're having trouble, take a closer look at the features of the tree that you're IDing, and try again from the beginning. And that's the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching.